going to chop the bacon now because that goes in with the onion. I'm not at all confident about uh, cooking this dish. I don't know what the end product is going to be like, but I'm just giving it my best. So let's just see what happens. 15 minutes gone. Now I'm going to add chop ready to it. It should be served just before I take it to the judges. So I'm just waiting for uh, the last five uh, or four minutes till I plate up. I'm going to add some uh, red wine. I'm going to put some cheese now. Okay, guys, I believe it's two minutes left. I need to be really careful while I taste this. So my dish is ready here. Roasting the pumpkin. I'm trying to make the green tomato ceviche. Finish. I'm just finishing off the one layer of the whole dish. There are lots of things to be constructed, and I'm still not ready. I think this is done. Already, huh? I added some sugar to my compo. I'm caramelizing my sugar. This is for the uh, decoration on the top. So once my sugar is caramelized, I'm going to lay it on the butter paper sheet. I'm preparing the blueberry compo. I'm waiting for the right color to come. I'm going to use the lemon in this so that it cuts off the sugar nest, gets it down. Not as easy as it looks. I think we need to make more uh, of this caramel. I'm cr crushing some uh, uh, chocolate biscuit in this. I think you know the most difficult part of this dish is getting the caramel as perfect as you know uh, Chef Bangera did it. And getting the exact proportions in this dish is extremely difficult because it's a sweet dish. It cannot be adjusted in any way. This is a tricky part. It takes time. So I'm making the noga now. In this, I'm going to roll my ice cream. So I want to make sure that this cools down. A cold ice cream and a hot noga, uh -huh. I don't want my ice cream to melt.
seven minutes left. I have more pressure because I have to replicate the same dish for the head chef did it. And the head chef of IDC is a big deal. Time is up. Time to start. Okay, so now we come to our third and final finalist. That's Madhushri and she's made a risotto with pancetta, I think, and radicchio. I think that's what it was. Massimo, it was your dish, right? Yes. You do the honors. Wow. Wow. All right. Chef. Quite good. Quite good? Quite. All right. And this is really the first time you made a risotto in your life? And the first time you cooked with bacon or pancetta? Thank you for adding that. First time you go to the red wine also, all right? Vikram, <laughs> your If you have never cooked a risotto before, and if this is the first time that you're cooking it, it's fantastic. But given the fact that we are not here to, to, to discuss your history and what we have done on earth, about what was cooked by Chef Massimo and what is cooked now, right? So you've done, a, you've done a, an, an okay job. Um, could have been a little better in terms of the texture of the rice. The balance of flavor is, is pretty fine. On a bigger picture, I think well done. Well done? All right, I'm going to try it. Hmm. I'm actually going to go with Massimo on this one. Wow. Well done. Okay, so now we've tasted all three. We've had Chef Bangera's dessert as recreated by Yuvraj. We've had Vikram's dish with a very exhausting name as recreated by Sandeep. And we've had Massimo's risotto made by somebody who's never made a risotto before. Difficult decisions. We're not going to make them here in the kitchen. We're going to retire to the Raja Raja Chola Lounge. At least that's what I think it's called. One of these fantastic lounges at the ITC Chola. We're going to talk about it and we'll see you soon. Okay, now we're going to try Sandeep's dish. This is Sandeep's version of a dish invented by Vikram. I'd love to tell you what exactly the dish was, but the name was so exhausting, I got exhausted halfway through. What is it exactly? A herbed Chilean sea bass that was sitting on a bed of uh, a roasted kabocha mash with some garlic spinach, uh, some green tomato miso ceviche, and a rencon chip. This is the kind of dish where the name is so exhausting, you're hungry already, yeah? All right, Vikram, you try it, it's your dish. Can I do the one? Yeah, please. Vikram, you'll play the knife man also and cut it in pieces for all of us. Massimo? Well? Good fish, very nice. Well done, thank you. Good, truly, and uh, well seasoned. I like it. Your chef? Beautiful, well? There you go. I think it's a nice dish on its own, but when you compare it to what uh, 
Vikram and Mayer, it's so quite an anti-climax. Okay. Not because you're comparing it, but Vikram Jaws is outstanding. But as a dish, it's quite nice. Thank you. So it looks right. Let me try it. Okay. What did you think? I didn't ask you what you thought. So tell me. Um, I think it was a good try. Right, there's no doubt about it that it was a good try. But as I told you, it was all about getting your basics right. Right? The seasoning of the mash, the texture of the mash, you can see that the mash is runny. It's runny, right? right? Uh, the seasoning of the spinach should have been a nice balance with the fish because that's that's the only contrast that you have for, for the dish. Uh, the sauce. Now that is something that, that I take a lot of pride in. The sauce really wasn't there, right? But the fish was cooked very nice. I, my, I told you my dishes look very nice, right? So I, I think you, you did not get the basics of, of harmony where you have two dots here. Yes. One dot here, one dot there, one dot there. You had an, a, a sprouts that was that plays a very integral part of Absolutely. the green effect that we grow our sprouts and how we had given you the sprouts, but you still forgot to put it on on the plate, which for me is, is very very important. Right? Um, so that that's that's what it's me. But well tried. Yeah, I I don't actually care about the presentation. I don't give a damn about his sprout and his color and all that. <laughs> what matters for me is the flavor. I thought the fish was good. I thought there was a slight problem with the balance of flavors, but, but otherwise I like it. Thank you. Okay, so time's up. The dishes are ready. The contestants are waiting. We're going to break with tradition. Normally we make them come to our table and we try there. But because this is so important, because this is the final, we think we should try things when they're hot, when they've just been prepared. So we're going to go from station to station. We're going to try everything, but we're not going to tell you who's won, at least not yet. Yuvraj, what, what are we going to get? I would like to present the dish. Uh, it's a dessert called Berry Crumble. Okay. It's a master dish uh, by Chef Ajit Bangera. Okay. And I just hope that I've tried at least 10% of what he creates in his kitchen and uh, try to recreate the same thing. I've put in my best efforts. All right, we will ask Master Chef himself to tell you what he thinks. So tell me, how, what was the difficulty in this? Was it was it difficult or was it easy going? Uh, the difficult part was the caramelizing the, mm. uh, the, the sugar yeah. and the noga, making noga. And plus, uh, it's very important that you get all the ingredients in the right step. Mm. The ice cream should have been the it should be in the last step because there's no point that you know when your noga is there and uh, it's hot and you roll the ice cream over it, the ice cream is going to melt. So you have to be very careful. Also, balance all the ingredients because it's a three-layer cake. Quick comment. I don't want a final judgment. My verdict. I'm very impressed. You're very I'm impressed. Very impressed. With what he's done. Hard man to please. Uh, sir. And uh, something. presentation could have been a bit better, but very impressed. All right, Massimo. Very nice. I like it. Thank you, sir. Vikram? Well? I've, I've eaten, eaten this earlier from you, sir. It's close. Close? Not there. But Not there. Yeah. How close? Like. Bombay Pune or like uh, Madras Delhi, yeah. little far, Madras yeah. Delhi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, bad at I agree with him. I like. Well done. Okay. Well done. So we've done Yuvraj, who's done Chef Bangera's dish, which is a dessert which apparently is close to the original, though there's some dispute about quite how much the distance is. Now we're going to go off to Sandeep, who's done Vikram's dish. Let's go.